this industry, uh, we have a, a fault, which is uh, every few years we like to stand up and breathlessly, breathlessly announce to the world that uh, things are changing in ways that they've never changed before, or that we've discovered fire and other such things. <laughs> Uh, and today, I'm afraid I'm going to do the same because uh, every five years, I think the world can't change more than it's already changed. Uh, but I do believe sincerely that we are in the midst of one of the most profound changes that I will certainly see in my working career. And the reason is, is we as an industry are sitting on 50 to 60 years of investment in IT infrastructure that was essentially designed to deliver a certain experience to the end customers and employees. From the customer point of view, this big investment has been designed to deliver what I call a narrow experience. It's really about an information flow that's unique and proprietary between the enterprise and the individual. It used to be largely about automating paper-based processes, and we've extended a bit now into forms in the web-based world, but it's essentially an experience that is relatively narrow. At the same time, we've delivered an employee experience that was essentially around the desktop, taking the desktop metaphor the metaphor of how a white-collar worker worked circa 1975 and automating that. And it's been an incredibly successful journey. We have the desktop-centric world, the document-centric world, and that's where we are. But what's really happening is that we're seeing the transition to a new set of experiences. I was reading yesterday in an article about this phenomenon called millennial entitlement. <laughs> and uh, I realized what that refers to is the new generation of people coming into the working world, the millennial generation. And I am the father of three millennials, so I can testify to this. And apparently, they feel entitled <laughs> in the sense that they expect things to work in a different way. They don't have the patience to put up with these previous experiences. They want to receive information in context, wherever they are, whenever they need it. They're not willing to wait for a paper bill to arrive at the end of the month. They're not willing to have a narrow flow of information that only pertains to a part of the experience that they want to have. They want to have all the information pulled together and presented in context. And they want to do that in a highly mobile and social world. <laughs> Similarly, employees expect a fundamentally different experience. People coming into the marketplace today no longer aspire to work behind a desk with a big inbox and a big outbox and a typewriter on it. They are looking at a fundamentally different way of how they interact with their peers and with information. And these new experiences cannot be delivered on yesterday's infrastructure. They're going to demand a new infrastructure. Now, a lot of the transition that we've seen in our industry, and in, in, indeed a lot of what drove the initial growth of VMware was really about taking cost out. How do we just take the existing things we do and do it in a more efficient way? And to some extent, the early phases of the cloud journey have really been about that. How do we just take what's already done, move it into the cloud, do it more efficiently? And that drives a certain amount of change. But when the experiences have to change, when it really becomes about not taking cost out of the equation, but about how you're going to claim revenue in the future. When it becomes mission critical in order to deliver revenue, that's when things really change. And it's for that reason that I believe that this change is going to be so profound, because it's not going to be primarily cost-driven. It is going to be about survival. Because if you can't deliver these experiences, 
you're simply not going to be competitive in the future. I had a great example of this uh, recently, talking to uh, uh, customers from an old world industry, supermarkets. And they were saying to me, we've realized our biggest challenge, and this is a great customer of VMware's, by the way, well on the journey to 100% virtualization, use our technology to take cost out of their existing infrastructure. And they said, we're realizing our fundamental problem is that we don't touch our customers until they get to the checkout till. And when they get to the checkout till, they've made all their purchasing decisions. All the goods are in the cart by that point in time. And the experience that we're presenting to our customers is simply no longer adequate. We have to fundamentally change the experience that we offer to our customers. We have to start interacting with our customers before they even enter the store. So going from a narrow stream of information, basically that used to exchange between the customer and the supermarket right there at the checkout counter, they have to start pulling on other streams of information. They have to start getting geolocation data about their customers before they even walk into the store. They have to start merging the infrared sensors that they have around the store that tell them where people are and how they're moving. Start merging all of that in. They have to be able to reason over that in real time and offer their customer various customized proposals as they move through the store. That's a very different world. That's going to require new capabilities, new competencies. And I'm hearing this theme increasingly often when I talk to our customers. Our problem is we have to transform the experience that we offer to our customers. At the same time, they're saying our employees are demanding a different experience. You can no longer hire somebody coming out of college today and hand them a Windows laptop and say, here you are, my son. Be productive. <laughs> it's a different world. So the question then becomes, how are we collectively going to respond to this change? How do we work with our customers about not just taking cost out of their environments, but how do we help them transform their businesses by transforming their IT? Because there's no customer experience in the world today that doesn't require an IT component. We live in a digital world. Now.